Hey everybody, Frankie Day here. Okay guys, this is update build report number three for my tutorial card model build from Ayashi E13 Jake float plane. Okay guys, at this uh, phase of the update here is the wing construction. Uh, the fuselage over there right behind uh, the wing, front of the wings is uh, with my fuselage. Tail feathers all been added on it. And uh, let it sit and dry and uh, out of harm's way, constructing the wing. Okay, guys, right here on the left is the left wing panel, the inboard wing panel, and also the outboard wing panel. And is adjacent by spars. These are the spars that come with the kit, guys. And these spars are, are, are positioned in place before you fold that paper over. Now, down at the bottom of the inboard pattern there, that's where you're you're looking at your, your cement uh, tabs that where the wings glue to this is called your jet a cry light glue only time to use this folks this is a tip don't use it nothing but spars only only on your spars and your wing ribs only that stuff right there will turn that cardboard into plastic you put it on your on, the, on your skins right there like your wings right there It'll bleed right through, and it'll, 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 it'll practically, it'll just be a big old spot on top of the printing, and it'll be ruined. So you're going to be quite certain that you reinforce those ribs before you install them on your skins. Okay, let's swing over to the camera over here to the right. This is the complete wing. This is your right wing section, all buttoned up. Using a burnishing tool, I'll burnish the trailing edges, the smooth mat real good. That wing is straight, guys. It's straight leading edge, straight trailing edge. And it's got to be done while the, while the wing is set. That's a good wing right there, folks. That's a good wing. And uh, there's a few slides of the tilt feathers right there. I don't know if I had the video on that or not, though, but I had those assembled on there. And it's going together quite well, as you can see. And there's your spars again, folks. That's the spars to give you the kit. And it's always good to pre-shape your, your wing scans before you add your spars to it. That way it makes it a lot more easier for the glue to settle on there. These spars have, haven't been glued onto the skins yet. I just leave it there just to make this video. Here's your ACC glue again. Like I say, put it on top of your spars. And uh, this going, the kit's going to uh, gather quite well. I'm pretty happy with it. So I hope you great fellows out there uh, learn something from this a little bit. There's a lot more tips coming up to go along. So... Uh, tomorrow I should have all the wings done. I should have that installed in the fuselage and the wing fillets. And the fun part will be the floats. So the next video will be uh, will be the installation of the wings and the fuselage. Then after that we'll start with the floats. And once the floats have been added to the fuselage, the rigging will come, come to view. I'll show you how to rig it up. And we'll finish up with the canopy. I do need to add some more details inside the cockpit area in there. And uh, that'll be that, and that completes that. And I'll start on uh, a dedication uh, gr uh, build for Alex and Chris and Alex. I'll use the mosquito bomber. And um, when I finish this too, along with the mosquito bomber, I'm going to build the, that Gloucester Gladiator too. That uh, it needs to be built. And um, that'll be that. So I'll be pretty much in card heaven for a while, guys. So uh, anyway, uh, this is about as far as I got on, on this update right here. And the model's going to get it quite smoothly. And all you got to do is take your time and think things out, guys. Paper ain't no different than is building a, a plastic or balsa wood kit. It just has its own method of construction. And there's things you got to look out for, and there's tips and tricks. And once the tips and tricks have been achieved and overcome, it becomes your modeling knowledge. Store it in the back of your mind. It can be used on all the rest of the card models, and there's more tricks to learn. I learned all these tricks myself, folks, by, by, by trial and error and working on card models. Now, the most crucial thing about card models is make sure you keep those wings nice and true. Because you don't want it to look like no propeller. That really make the model, that take, that take away from the model. And, uh, and always keep your hands clean all the time, too. Because you get your fingerprints, sometimes the printing on there will pick up your fingerprints, smudges like that. And the best glue to use is, is Eileen's Tacky Glue. That is some good stuff right there, folks. You can use Elmer's uh, school glue too if you don't have any tacky glue, but I highly recommend and suggest 
He leaves tacky glue. You can find it at most craft stores near your neighborhood. Okay, guys, this completes the update build report number three of my tutorial card model build on my, my Yishi uh, E13 Jake float plane. And uh, I'd like to thank everybody for tuning in. May God bless and happy modeling. And uh, I've been checking out the uh, the forum book lately and uh, I mean the uh, YouTube presentations. Uh, you guys got a lot of good builds shaking out out there. It's very remarkable work. <laughs> Chris and Alex, they're Spitfires. Boy, you guys really hauling, knocking out them Spitfires. Those boys, are, I'll tell you one thing, they're, they're great. They're great. Okay, guys, this is Frankie Day signing off right here. We'll see you in the next uh, video. Bye, fellas.